me Someday I would buy Gummies with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the press Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 10th, 2021. Well, the committees in the House are marking up the next stimulus package. Yesterday was Education and Labor Committee. Today is the Transportation, Infrastructure, Finance, and Agriculture Committees. Today is also the first of three markup days for the Ways and Means Committee. They have the largest part of the stimulus package to take care of, and also includes the $1,400 stimulus checks going out to the people. The Education and Labor Committee finished up with their part of the um, reconciliation bill, and there are a few points I want to highlight for you. Um, the first is the $15 an hour minimum wage increase. Whether it's something the Democrats will be able to pass or not, we don't know yet because they still need a nice majority of the vote. The way they have it marked up it, in the bill raises the minimum, uh, minimum wage to $15 an hour after four years. In fact, you know what? I'll show you a picture of what the um, committee marked up for the, the hourly wage thing so you know what's going on. So by the year 2025, the minimum wage could be at $15 an hour, but this isn't a sure thing. They want $130 billion for funding the um, funding to help their schools reopen while following the CDC guidelines. They also want $40 billion for um, early childhood and education, plus $4 billion to help low-income families cover heating and cooling. They want $25 billion for rental assistance, $15 billion for the payroll support program. That's not the, not the same thing as a payroll protection program. Payroll support program, or what's the last one place, is intended to help airlines and related companies. We want $10 billion for small businesses, $10 billion for struggling homeowners, $10 billion for the production of medical equipment used using the Defense Production Act. The um, five billion to support the people experiencing homelessness, which is a good thing, I guess. You know, and the Agriculture Committee wants to increase the SNAP benefits by fifteen percent through September thirtieth, two thousand twenty-one. It's a good thing. They want eight hundred million dollars for Food for Peace, which provides foreign food aid, basically. They want $37 million for a community supplemental food program that helps low income with food, which is also a good thing. And the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee wants, first they want to set aside $50 billion to replenish the Federal Emergency Management Agencies, FEMA basically, because of $40 billion that Trump took out to do the increase on the... Um, the unemployment, they want to give that back to them so they actually have their butts covered, basically. $3 billion in federal transportation grants. They want $1.5 billion to keep Amtrak running. $8 billion to support airports and related businesses. The um, $8 billion and uh, what was it? Let's find it here again. What was it? $15 billion? Yeah, they, $8 billion and $15 billion are two separate bills so they're not they're not combined it as one they're two separate so basically you can get 15 billion from one and eight billion from the other for airports and other related businesses none of the work the committees are doing is basically set in stone yet so none of this stuff has actually been done by the budget committee yet and on the, the topic of the uh, $1,400 uh, stimulus checks they want to give a $1,400 stimulus check for every dependent in your household. This includes adult dependents. And the income limits for relief checks haven't changed. There are $75,000 for a single filer, $150,000 for a joint filer. And eligibility will be basically based off your 2020 tax return. But if you don't file your 2020 tax returns, they will default to your 2019 tax returns 
which means if you made too much money in the 2019 tax returns to qualify for a stimulus check, you most likely will not get one. So I suggest you guys file early because I guarantee you, I'm going to file because I guarantee you, I, there's no way in God's reign there I ever made $75,000 a year, although that would be awesome. But we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe out there and try to stay warm because it's still getting a bit cold out there. And I know other states are getting some bad snow. So to all my viewers and all my subscribers, please stay safe and warm. And I'll broadcast again to you guys tomorrow with more relevant information. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful night.